Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. We are late. Hi. We're late. I'm so sorry. So sorry, Grace. So sorry, Gracie. I'm so sorry, Willow. We're late. Good morning and welcome to today. Today's video is the late video. This is the late show with Gabby and Laura. Ever notice that when you're late, suddenly things just don't, when you're late, everything just seems harder. Wait, I'm gonna do pennies different. I'm gonna put some water in it. Close the door. Whew. Right. Penny pickle, let's see if this works. You guys told me to make a mash yeah, we should get some beet pulp, Gabby says. She told me to make some mash and it will disguise the oil. Right, Miss Penny. Let's check your eyes. Well, her eyes be looking better. They look better. She clearly slept on this side. Oh, she's smelling it. She's smelling it. She's like, I know. I know what you did there, she says. It's not even all mixed in. I know. I, I don't have a... It's just grain with some water. No, I mixed it all in. It's just grain with some water. It's not even soggy yet. Well, it doesn't matter if it's soggy. It just has to disguise. No, but look at her eye. Up. Look at her eye. Even though she's got shavings in there, it's not leaky. It's still leaky. Oh. It's a little leaky. She's like, I don't care if you touch me. Just give me my food. All right, well, we're going to see. When the vet was here, we talked about so many things. He wanted her to have oil. I don't even know why he wanted her to have oil. I have like a general idea of what the oil is for. I literally have no idea why he wanted to have the oil. I don't know. You guys, I do not know why he wanted to have the oil. But I bought a big thing of oil and she's going to have it. Gosh darn it. I'm looking around, looking around. Gabby's in there doing chores. I'm like, where's Gracie? She'd be living the good life. She'd be living the good life. You're such a pretty pony. Oh, and there's another one. And here comes my pretty penny. Uh oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, good girl. I got treats. See her licking her lips? She was ready to roll today. Oh, she's mad at Gracie. There was a fight. Was there a fight? Can you try a horse? It's like so amazing how much information you take in by just watching. When, hey, I got treats. When, uh oh. When I went to try Penny, as she was in her stall, and her stall was next to her lead mare. I didn't even get a chance to brush you. Oh my goodness. But your eye does look a little better. Uh, anyway, she was next to the lead mare. And they fought through the bars. And I mean like, squealing and looked like if they, the bars didn't go all the way up to the ceiling, they probably would have jumped through. I don't know. She might be getting, wait, let me just clean that off. I just need to clean it off. Anyways, her and the lead mare were fighting. So that's how I knew like she would probably fight with her ponies. I didn't realize that her fight would be less than than what you would expect. She's not a big fighter. She likes people she likes the ponies to know that she's in charge and that's it. She's not mean. She's not aggressive. Basically just says, get out of my way. Leave me alone. That's all she says. Anyway, it was interesting to see like that that was, that's how she relates to other horses or at least that's how she related to that horse. She's sensitive. I guess that's the word that you use. She is a sensitive horse and I respect that in her and I, I understand that in her. There you go. Don't get it through the fence. Everybody's waiting for something. Everybody's waiting for something in life, you guys. Mo Ruby is waiting for the cats. Molly is waiting for me, waiting for me to kick the ball. Oh. Gabby is waiting to be done with her chores so she can go back in the house. All right, I take that back. She's a little aggressive. She's a little aggressive with the salt lick. Like, how often do you have salt licks that last a week? Like, she, she chews the salt lick. She doesn't lick them. She's a chewer. But you know what? That's good to grind down her teeth. She never breaks them in half. Does he? Look at all her slobber. If it keeps her busy and makes her happy, then I'm all for buying as many salt licks as she needs. But anyway, so... I have long suspected that gated horses are different in many ways. Obviously they're different because they have a different gait, which makes them a more easy ride. It's like a gentler ride. I always say like anybody who can't ride a horse can ride a gated horse. Like if you are sucking and you are afraid and you don't know how to ride and it's just not going well, ride a gated horse, you'll be a pro. Um, but I also suspected that because of the way they move that they 
don't have the bad behaviors as strongly as other horses. So that does not make sense. Okay, so when Penny does little tiny baby bucks, she just little teeny tiny baby bucks. Like, you, you barely even notice that she's bucking. Not even Storm. Yeah, not even like Storm. Like, this horse literally bucked me one time and it was like, whoop, like, you barely Great. even could tell. So, like, even if the worst thing could happen with Penny, and that's why people say, like, that's why her owner said she's such a safe horse. Like, and that's why I feel gated horses can be safer, a safer breed, because even when they have bad behavior, or, you know, they're, even when they do something like bucking, it is a mini, on a mini scale, whoa. Excuse me is the right word, Missy. So, anyways, I've always believed that gated horses, everything they do is on a different scale to a regular horse. And so I was watching my favorite YouTuber, my favorite gated you horse YouTuber, and she said today in a video that when gated horses buck or whatever, that it's never like a real horse's buck. Like, isn't that incredible? Like, I think that's why I have so much confidence in her. No matter what she throws at me, it's so simple and so easy. And without that concussive movement, that up and down movement, um, it's, it's, it, it changes the game. It changes it. Like, I trust Penny with my grandkids taking her for a little ride. Like, that's how easy she is to ride. Like, it's just such a different phenomenon, you guys. And for all of our British mash makers because it's not a big thing here in canada mash we don't even use the word mash but for all of our british mash makers dun, da, 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 penny ate the oil first day that i gave it to her and she ate it you all rocked it nailed it penny be getting mash forever in yesterday's video i asked you guys to share your favorite color combinations of like riding clothes with us and somebody said navy and pink and i was like oh my I gosh worn and pink i have one Oh my gosh, I think you should it try it. Good. Oh, I think navy and pink would be gorgeous. All right, so Gabby said she's got two color combinations for lessons tonight. What are they, Gabby? No, for the clinic. Oh, for the clinic. Oh, I think you have to wear white, don't you? For a clinic? Yeah. You wear whatever color your saddle pad wants. Oh, okay. All right, so first option. I better ask Brandon because he's strict about that. First option, navy blue breeches, like my struck ones. With my burgundy hunter sweater. And then so navy color. and burgundy and what color? And white stuff. So navy and burgundy. Would you wear the white collar? No, because I can't see it with my sweater. Okay. So navy and burgundy. Or, or we have tan pants um, and my chili red base layer and then chili red saddle pads. Two options. Okay, so vote below you guys because it's on Saturday vote below so the first one is a navy sat navy pants burgundy Burgundy shirt and what color saddle pad? Um, wait navy pants burgundy shirt white white so navy burgundy and white Okay, navy burgundy and white or tan chili and chili tan chili chili navy burgundy and white comment below yeah those are our checks this is not the slow few one too. yeah uh, we have he's too fat and he eats so fast him and chino share it chino doesn't even eat as fast as him yeah what are you looking for the slow feed. Would, oh, right, for the trailer uh -huh. so we have uh, hey chicks hey nets compliments of brandy rolling from versatile horsemanship she sent them to us last christmas and we've yet to use them but we did decide that we wanted to use them in the trailer so gabby's getting that ready getting the trailer ready we're actually going to be taking a kaylee's trailer this time because ours need new tires and we're taking tex or oakley whoever she's taking on her on the to the thing we're all going together gabby's it's found really hard to get out in an emergency Gabby found the hay net she's looking for. I had it in the trailer. I was using it for Penny. And she just scolded me on the fact that I did it wrong. I tied it up wrong. I probably did. I do not know how they you work. I did not. I did not. The horse's head could get stuck in it. I did not. Yeah, you did. You tied it in uh, knot. Well, I watched videos and then went from my memory. I watched videos and then went from my memory. My memory is not that good. My memory tell me how to tie this. I watched my video one. Yeah, Gabby's memory is much better than mine. So is Sam. I know I'm going to get a lot of questions because I already do. Why the heck don't you use those hay nets? We don't use them because 
any time you add something to a stall, it, it it adds an element of risk, and so I just don't want to take that chance. I just, like horses are so easy to hurt themselves to begin with. I just don't want to add any other risk. Plus, horses' natural way of eating is with their head on the ground, and I uh, don't want to mess with that either. It can cause other problems. So it's two-sided sword. That's why I don't use hay nets. But we do use them in the trailer. Yes, especially for fat ponies. Especially for fat ponies. They need to have a slow feeder or else they will get really fat. Yeah. I realized that I did not get to show you guys Sophia's finished creation of the Christmas tree. It's actually super cute. Yeah. She did a star on the top and she didn't put any actually any decorations on it. She just used some icing that she had and glued it all together. I like well, it. I'm going to get fondant so, fondant so I can make ornaments. Well, that's a good idea. But also red icing and shape. It's a good decoration actually for Christmas. But also, not only did she do this entirely on her own, she followed the directions and made the cookie and cut everything out all by herself. An accomplished baker. That's what you are. Girls are finishing language and then we're headed out to do some shopping. Gabby clearly is hooked on some hot chocolate. How much hot chocolate do we have left in this thing? Oh, you Dad been... drinks it all. Oh, Dad does it. I firmly believe that God gives you everything you need to live the life that you're meant to lead. And the way that you can tell the life you're meant to lead is by your interests and things that you do super well. Like, for example... I'm on a YouTube tries to go out, try new things, and so I'm just playing video games. Yeah, go out and, and try I new things. And I want to go fishing, catch oh. fish, and put seasoning on it, and try it. Sophie has been watching uh, all these cooking channels. Uh, so Catch a trout. She wants to cook all this fish and she's craving fish now. Do you like fish, Sophie? Have you ever liked any fish we've ever given you? Well, I like mussels. She likes mussels, but she's the only one in our family that hates fish. But she is dying to cook fish right Gabby now. Gabby likes some fish. Gabby, Gabby likes, likes most salmon. fish. Mmm, I love salmon. Uh, a fish really eater, Sophie like is probably not going to grow up to be, but a baker and a chef. Like, the girl loves cooking. She loves food. She watches cooking channels. She's 12 years old, 11 years well, old. Well, because. He does fishing, and then he put he makes his own seasonings and stuff, and Whoa, they're for sale. There was a lot left um, in there when I had some last night. Dad had some. Yeah, and I can tell you right now, never in my wildest dreams would I ever want to watch a cooking channel or learn to make but my own spices. It's fun. Like, yeah, I know that is a see, sign. When you see what um swordfish eat when they cut their bellies open. Yeah, and that's amazing, Sophie. That's unique to you. That's something that only Sophie is into in this family. Nobody else in our family is into that. <laughs> I like fish. I think you get that. I think you get that from your grandma, from Oma. So, having said that, Sophie can clean and she can cook. Well, Gabby, on the other hand, who's over here sniffing the hot chocolate. What are you doing to the hot chocolate? Gabby is more like me in the terms of cooking. She is not into it. Are you into cooking? No, and I love cleaning. Gabby, how do you do with cleaning? I can't do it. She can't do it. She can't do it to save her life. Yesterday when I went out shopping with Sam, I left directions on what the girls needed to get done. They needed to do their school. They needed to do their home chores. There were so many things I needed to do. They needed to do. When I got home, I came in the kitchen and Gabby said I tried my best and it was a disaster zone. She cannot do it. She cannot do it. It's awful to ask her to do it. She just, it's not in her. So Gabby, has something different. God has something different planned for Gabby. Sophie is going to be a mama for sure. Are you going to have kids, Gabby? Are you going to have kids, Sophie? Yeah. Yeah. How come you're not going to have kids? I hate kids. Sophie's sad to go out there, try new things. That's what school is about. It's about trying new things, doing new things, learning things, learning about yourself, and discovering what you have an aptitude for. An aptitude is what you're good at. Find out what you have an aptitude. You know what I have an aptitude for? It actually works An though. aptitude is something that you excel at even without trying. Do you know what I have an aptitude with? I have an aptitude with plants. I, I can, I just know instinctively what a plant needs. It's like it talks to me. It's the weirdest thing. Like, I have an aptitude for plants. You think of something that you have an aptitude for? Something that just comes naturally and you just can figure it out? Food. Yeah, it's food. It's telling it to eat, to eat me. It's telling me to eat them. Yeah, for sure you have an aptitude for food. Gabby, what is your aptitude for? This is the kettle boiling that you guys hear. Horses <laughs> and anything that comes with instructions. <laughs> So go out there, explore your world, the world that God put you in, and discover what you're good at, you guys. That is how you're going to be successful in life. Okay, so I am waiting for the girls to come out. 
I do this thing where I'm like, okay, let's get ready to go. Let's go, you guys. Let's get ready. Come on, guys. Let's get ready. And then finally, I just get up and I walk out and go in the car, and boom, they start scrambling like crazy. You thought the door was locked, didn't you? No, I thought I was going to get shocked. Oh, my girls are such babies. They're afraid of getting shocked. What did you say You're when you got in the car? You're afraid of a horse walking towards you after it's galloped around. I am afraid of a horse walking around after it's galloped. I'm afraid of a horse galloping towards me. Yes, Gabby. Stop from you. Fine. Yeah, we were waiting for the car to heat up. Oh, really? That's what you guys were doing? You were waiting? What did you say when you got in the car? What was your lecture about this time? <laughs> did you guys think I lecture you? Sophie thinks I lecture you. Sophie wants to go to the grocery store so she can make something yummy for us. What is it, Sophie? Oh, it's for me. What is it? Um, mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks? Hot, spicy ones? Um, so it takes the, um, it takes the, like, it takes the hot out. All right, and I'm going to go and see if I can source out some wood wait, pellets wait, wait. Wait. Uh, close to us because we have to drive an hour away. So the problem is, is that... The pellets that I bought the other day were $5 a bag. When I called this place, they said they had them, but they're $7.99. So $8 a bag. And this place is always cheaper than the other place. So I don't know if it's a difference in size. Oh, oh let's see. They didn't get to see it. So you use it's cheese. Older, yeah. mm, is that what Sophie's making us? No, I'm, I'm making, making sticks. Sophie's making sticks. That's so you get the I'm cheese. Making. And then you have to get Takis. I don't chocolate. want Takis. Dip an egg, flour, dip an egg again, dip in Takis. Sophie's going to make them for us. So you don't have to use hot Cheetos. You could use something else. Okay, here it is, you guys. The final product. This is what Sophie's going to make for us. That's what I'm making. Okay. You want to make them too? Right, so this is the inside of the store that I'm at. This is our local store. All right, so I got the shavings. They look like this they're called i think they're the exact same ones to be honest and they were two dollars and fifty cents more at the cheapest place and then i got cat food weird thing that's been happening since covid happened and i don't know if i'm the only one that notices this or if everybody notices this but every store that i go to everything that i normally buy has increased by like at least two or three dollars all right so i'm going to send the girls into the grocery store let them do their shopping and buy what they want and then they're going to make no, us you're some gonna food buy it for me. well i'll give you my my bank card and then no you... you're going in no you're going card. in sister you're cooking you're I'm shopping you have to get chips or cheese so you should get some i got two strings did you get cheesies you should get cheesies. You should get the crispy or the harder crispy. Stuff like this. Like these cheesies are so tiny and it's $2.50. The world is changing, you guys. We are all about to get skinny. Zesty cheese. Oh, those are good. I want to try these. Yeah, those would be I'll better. One bag each. So basically, they bought everything that they needed to make these spicy cheese sticks or whatever oh, they are weird because she already and they forgot the oil they need because we don't really fry a lot so they that, don't that we... one person that does the card gets me she gets you yeah because she's like she's yeah, really nice the lady that did the card the card she's nice gabby raced to the carts to beat me hmm i don't know where she gets that from but yeah gabby went running to race and beat me and the lady was laughing like at least she understands her family like so let's go back in to get oil. She's all embarrassed. But I mean, people want you to spend their money. So why be embarrassed? She just ran for it. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is... Stack at night, nice, guys. Stack at night. Nice. It is stacked. That's not nice. That is not a nice stack. Does that look like a nice stack? It is cold. <laughs> He's waiting for me. Look who's waiting for me. Hello. What is that? Look at Rudolph was here. Forgot his nose. That would be a 
fun toy for Molly. Hay time. Penny likes to go to the farthest thrown hay. Hello, kitty cat. <coughs> I just threw you some food, kitty. Hello, Gracie. Let's all not forget about how amazing she is. Nothing happening in the hood, you guys. It is calm and clean. Look how clean it is down here. All right, it did not look, oh my gosh, it does not look clean. But it actually, in real life, it looks clean. But in the camera, it looks a mess. So I bought the shavings. I just bought five bags. And, oh, the cats, the kitties found the food. I just bought five bags there because it's $2 more, which... $2.50 more than at the other place I bought it. I'm gonna have to look at my receipt and just double check. I'm gonna try the tractor supply store and see if they have it cheaper. There's a town kind of close to us, but it was on the way to Costco yesterday. And, and they have a famous bakery there. It's called Doer's Donuts. And it used to be the best bakery in town, but now our it's town, and yeah, now, well not our town, but a town even closer to us has a new bakery and it's called Wanamakers and it's more famous. But yesterday we bought some Dewar's Donuts. These are what they look like. I'm not a big donut fan, but they have really good donuts. Mm, that looks yummy. And we're gonna take them tonight to riding lessons. We're gonna see the stretch. All right, so just wait. So Sophie, we, we're home now. Sophie's been cooking up a storm. Look what she made you guys. They okay, break look. it open, stretch it. Really look cute. One got a little overcooked. Oh, that looks good. I want to try this side. Oh, he's like, let me eat it. Really good? Mm -hmm. Let me try it. I'll try a fresh one. Cabby's <laughs> making it too. Oh my god. The cheese is stuck in my throat. <laughs> I think it could have more flavor. <laughs> That's why you use hot Cheetos. We didn't have any hot spicy Cheetos, so you just regu used regular cheese. But uh, Cheetos. Oh, jeez. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. It's really good. So this is Gabby's. She got it going on. Well, she did all hers at the same time. Sophie did one at a time. See, all the stuff fell out in the middle because I didn't close the ends. Oh. All right, well, try it. So try it and see what happens. It's hot. I don't want to try it. I want a piece. We all want to try it. This is her stuff. It took her seven hours to make it. Hers didn't stretch. Did your stretch? Well, that's because the stuff in the middle fell out. Mmm. Okay. No, the stuff in the middle fell out. I want to try then these. Then the pan? Because I didn't close up the end. All right, we are all done lessons. It was a tricky one. It was a hard one. Uh, <laughs> Look at them. They're like, what's happening? Anytime you walk towards them after a lesson, they think they're getting a treat. Look at all those ears. <laughs> they're licking their lips. They're like, give me the treats. It sometimes takes me a really long time to figure things out. And when Fiona left, we were all doing so well. We were all like way up here, especially Finn and Sophie were like flying. You guys saw that. And then Brandon came and he wanted us to change the bit. And so we changed the bit and it's just been week after week after week of him not listening he's using a lesser bit or a different bit it's not even a lesser bit that he had in today today he had in the that new one that gabby bought i don't even know what it is and he did not listen and then gabby gets really frustrated because it's scary riding a horse that doesn't listen to you is scary a horse that doesn't slow down when you ask it to is scary like what good is having a horse if the horse doesn't listen to you because so many people think you should use a different bit. A bit is only as harsh as the person that uses it. And when Finn rides in the bit that he prefers, he, she, they don't have to hardly pull on him because he just stops. I don't know. Fiona says, why mess with something? <laughs> Look at those cute ears. Why mess with something that's working for him? And I think we did a disservice to Finn and to Sophie by doing that. And I'm not doing it anymore. So... Finn's going to get his regular bit, and Gabby fights me about it because she doesn't want him to be, get dead to that bit. And I understand, I understand what she's saying, but he's getting, you're getting your old bit back, Vinny. I think he prefers it, he understands it, he, yeah, that's, right. however it works, that's what he prefers. Cheetah has like a baby face, like he's got baby eyes. What, what is it? What do you, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? Hey, yes. <laughs> Yeah, did you give them treats already? Oh, you had them already.
There you go. You deserve it, Finny. He is sweaty. Wow. I didn't even think you rode that much, but you no, did. I want to shave him. Gabby wants to just shave Finn's neck. Yeah. There's a specific clip. What's it called? I don't know. We don't Apron know. Clip or Apron? No, clip that's. Underneath his neck. Yeah. Look at the heart on his nose, though. He has like a really nice heart shaped nose. And you don't. How come? What? Is it because of the black outline that make his that makes his nose looking like a heart? And Finn's really doesn't. He doesn't got, have an outline. Yeah, let me see Storm. And Storm doesn't have it really either. But you have a really cute pink nose. We have a really busy weekend this weekend. You guys know Gabby has her uh, clinic with Kaylee. And then we have some other plans that I'm excited to share with you guys. So look forward to that. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Don't you know that you're beautiful?